the story of Adam and Eve. The story of Adam and Eve began when Almighty Allah told the angels that he would make a caretaker on earth who would have the ability to think freely with reason. The angels immediately sensed danger and questioned Allah's plan. Almighty Allah reveals the following in the Holy Quran. And remember when your Lord said to the angels, Verily, I am going to place mankind, generations after generation, on earth. They said, Will you place therein those who will make mischief and shed blood, while we glorify you with praises and thanks? and sanctify you. Allah said, I know that which you do not know. The angels were intelligent and obedient beings made from light whose only purpose was to obey Allah's command. They simply could not fathom why Allah would create a new being that could choose to rebel against the Creator. Allah informed the angels that their knowledge was limited and that they would soon understand His divine plan. Allah created the very first man, raised right out of dust, named Adam. Allah also created his wife, whose name was Eve, or Hawa in Arabic. Allah educated Adam and completely taught him everything he needed to know about earth and all it contained. Then Allah called the angels into an assembly and challenged them to describe even one part of the earth. They could not, but Adam could and he did. Allah proved to the angels that Adam was the superior being and commanded them to bow to the man. They did as they were told and so did other beings called jinns who are made out of fire. The jinns had been eavesdropping, and when they saw the angels bow, they did so as well. But one jinn did not, and his name was Iblis, or the devil. Iblis declared, that he was made out of fire, whereas man was made out of dirty dust. So, Iblis affirmed that he was superior to man. For his disobedient arrogance, Allah threw him out of the heavens. 
but Iblis had a special request. He wanted to prove that he was superior to man and asked Allah for time to lead man into an ungratefulness to Allah. Since Allah accepts all challenges laid before him, Iblis was given free reign to lead whoever would follow him astray, but on the condition that he leaves whoever worships Allah in true faith alone. Iblis agreed and he promised the following. I will attack them from their front and back and from the side. Meanwhile, Adam and Eve began their lives on earth in a beautiful garden of which they were the masters. They had everything they could ever want and spent their days in peace and happiness. Adam and Eve did not have human emotions like anger, shame, or fear. However, in his education from Allah, Adam knew that they had an enemy in the devil, and they knew that he would try to lead them astray. The day finally came when the devil entered the garden and encouraged both Adam and Eve to eat the fruit from the forbidden tree. The devil had promised that by eating the fruit, they would gain even more power and knowledge than they already had. However, this tree was the one place where Allah commanded them not to eat from. Unable to resist the temptation the devil presented them with, both Adam and Eve ate from the tree. They disobeyed the Creator by allowing the devil to guide them. The Holy Quran does not lay blame on Adam or Eve. They both disobeyed Allah and were held to be equally accountable. Adam and Eve were cast out of the garden and into the wild to fend for themselves. Adam was actually the very first prophet of Allah as he taught his own children to be faithful and obedient servants to the Lord of this world. Since Adam, a long line of prophets have come and done their utmost to guide and warn man throughout the ages. To all people have come a prophet. 
so on the day of judgment no soul can escape punishment.